This video will explain the chrome records needed for a single arch dentate surgical arch with an opposing denture. As with all of our checklists, as with all the different patient scenarios, the checklist can be found on our website. If you go to Chrome GS and go down to patient records, you'll land on this page. And on this page, uh, you'll notice that the first area is single arch, below that is double arch, and then here is a list of the actual uh, checklist that you can print. So let's go through a single dentate arch with opposing edentulus. Here are the basic records, but let's go through the protocol for collecting them. The records for a single arch are very straightforward. We need a certain set of photographs. We need master casts or scans and a bite, and then a CBCT scan. And let's start with the photographs. The particular photographs are very important because we use these photographs to make sure that we have the case articulated properly. So in these images, you can see there's no denture, but you can imagine that if we're working on a lower arch, seat the upper denture, make sure that it's seated exactly in the repeatable bite, in the right bite, and then capture photograph center, uh, left and right. And then what we would like is a full face, full smile, and a natural smile, and then an exaggerated smile. We want to make sure we have the transition lines correct. And then if you're dealing with any kind of uh, class 2, class 3, we'd like a profile picture. We do not need any occlusal pictures, no orthodontic pictures. And, um, and then we don't want, uh, we want a, a patient showing uh, some... Uh, a smile and hopefully an, and a nice expression so that we can see how they naturally are. So those are the photographs. The records uh, for the, the cast records are of course important uh, because that's how the pin guide fits, that's how we articulate, we want master casts and we want a cast that uh, that involved the vestibule and we'll go through that in just a minute um, but not partial impressions um, you know, no quadrants, no triple trays, and then just be sure they're master cast quality, please. If you have digital impressions, uh, that is perfectly fine. In this, uh, this case here would be an opposing dent denture. So just take the denture out of the mouth and take a PVS of the teeth or just scan the teeth, and then you would reinsert and scan the opposing in the bite. And that would be the records. We do not need the intaglio of the denture or really even the flanges. We want the teeth. And if it's uh, conventional, then just use PVS. Now, uh, if you have uh, digital impressions, uh, just just this is what it, this is um, what we just explained. Scan the teeth only. As you can see here, the upper is the denture. Scan the teeth. Scan the lower, and then scan the bite registration. Uh, and that is a nice scan. You can see the lower. It's a nice uh, land areas. I could probably, you know, try to scan a little bit more of the vestibule if possible, but that's that's pretty good. Uh, and then all the distal areas and the lingual areas. So that's a nice complete scan. If the patient has a partial on the dentate arch, then take two impressions: uh, one with the denture or the, or the partial seated, and one with the partial not seated. And when you take the CT scan, uh, capture the scan. Uh, with the partial out, uh, or if there's no metal on the partial, you can also scan it uh, in the mouth, seated. Now the CT scan is um, very typical of an edentulous uh, scan. So you can either capture it with the teeth apart or the teeth together. You know, normally if it's an edentulous case, uh, you would scan with the teeth together, but this is not a dual scan situation here. And that d denture will actually disappear in the CT. So you can take it with the teeth together or the teeth apart, either one with a single dentate. And then finally, the CBCT scan. And what you will do is, um, in this case, there'll be just one CT scan for the arch of interest, and you'll capture a CT and export multi-file. And what that means is you'll have a folder that is full of DCM files. So you'll export maybe to your desktop, uh, double click on the file to open it, and then you'll see a set of single file 
DICOMs as opposed to one file. We always want it to look like this, multi-file. So once you've identified this is right, then go back to the, uh, the, the, the folder. Just hit the back arrow. You're just looking at it in some different views here, uh, thumbnail views. But essentially, it's a list, a folder full of files. Go back up to the master. And then what we need to do is create a zipped folder. And in order to do that, you would right click on the folder. All right, right click and all systems are the same. Scroll down to send to and then pick compressed zipped folder. And this will take 15 seconds to maybe a minute to zip them. And what it's going to do is make you a second folder, which will have a zipper on it. We'll fast forward through that. You can see it's compressing the files here. And it will make one more folder right next to the original one, and that's the zipper folder. And that's the one that you'll use to send to us. You'll drag and drop that into our portal uh, along with the photos and the STL files of your scans, if you're digital, and the photographs. So there's the zipper folder, second one. That's what you'll send us. So those are the records for a single arch dentate with an opposing denture.